you guys i feel bad so i was just talking in the last vlog i don't even know how i'm gonna edit this whatever i was just talking about how i wasn't gonna do vloggist because i'm boring and nothing really goes on and then i legit had two different people say do vloggist and i'm like damn it i wasn't gonna do vloggist but now should i do vloggist just because more people seem to want it but i just i don't because a part of me is saying well if that's what your people say they want then give the people what they want stop letting this talk me out of it because that happens sometimes so now i'm like shit. what do i do how am i even gonna do this because i'm basically what i'm thinking about and i still haven't taken care of that recycling do don't judge me We're gonna wing it guys, we're gonna wing it. So I didn't wanna not, I didn't want y'all to think I don't see your comments and that I don't, I don't want you to think I'm not listening or reading or anything like that. So like I said, we're just gonna compromise and just do half of August because I don't have anything going on this week. Um, at least next week, I'm gonna slowly but surely start packing and I'll maybe I'll make myself go do some stuff so I can be interesting for y'all. But yeah, so I feel I'm flattered. I'm like, oh, people give a fuck. That's all. <laughs> so it's Monday. Y'all know the drill. I'm watching Family Guy. Um, yeah, I'm watching Family Guy. I'm gonna heat up some dinner. And see, you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. That's not interesting. No one gives a fuck about me watching Family Guy and eating dinner. That's why I don't want to vlog every day. Because I'm like, bitch, nobody cares. <laughs> I need help. Okay. That's all. So, okay. I hope y'all are having a good day. And thank y'all for, for watching and for commenting and for being interested in my... I was about to use a negative word. For being interested in my life. I appreciate it. I kind of feel like today was a waste of body lava. <laughs> and I wore the, I was gonna say my good body lava. It's all good, but I wore, you can't even tell, I don't think. I wore, who needs clothes? And you can't even tell. Oop, but you can't tell I have a bra on. And I had my blazer on earlier today so we could cover all this and then the tattoo and all that. Random thought. While I was out today, I also went to Target and I managed to walk into Target and not get caught up in the Target hype. You know what the Target hype is when you say you're going for only a few things and you walk out with 17 things. I only, I needed some new towels, so that happened. I should have got a two pack, but I only got one. And I've been liking, I think I told y'all this, I've been liking to apply my, found, my powder with these little, um, velour compact puffs so when i set my foundation i use this to put it on um i did wash the one i have and it got real obviously it wasn't as good as a fresh one and these are only three dollars or so so actually they're two dollars so haha -ha. and then i also picked up some sheets because the other sheets that i have like this um i let a dog sleep in my bed and the dog had some rough ass feet and the dog scratched up my sheets with a rough ass feet and the dog is a metaphor for a person who's trash anyway i um got these these are pretty good nice and um and um comfortable comfortable 400 thread count and i heard the higher up you go the better your sheets are and these were only 50 or 60 dollars so not too bad oh that's all i got from target now, I don't know whether or not this part is going to make the vlog, but I will say this. Dating, and I don't even know if that's what I'm doing, but get, getting to know people is annoying and exhausting. I hate getting to know people. You know, it sucks when you are used to someone and you know them, or at least you think you know them until they do some fuck shit. But, you know, you think you know people, and then you realize you don't know people, and then you realize that you're going to have to get to know new people. And then you're like, there's a song that describes me perfectly at this moment. It's by Latoya Luckett. 
when she first went solo and it's called lazy and the song goes i don't feel like getting to know you what you like to eat or what you like to do there's too much information to deal with i don't want to play the love game with another because i quit and that's how i feel I'm, i don't feel like well, i'm not gonna say i don't feel like it i'm just saying it's exhausting yeah i kind of don't feel like it but whatever getting to know people is annoying that's all that's all for today right y'all i fell off the wagon i don't remember my last makeup declaration like i'm not buying any more makeup i think i said i wasn't buying any more makeup until i moved or maybe until october i'm not sure but i do remember declaring a no buy but i got jackie Ina's palette it was limited edition that's always my excuse for a lot of things it was on sale it was limited edition you know those are some of my go-to quote unquote minds but no for real and i was on the fence when i first saw it to be 100 percent honest with you because sorry because it has some purples in there and i don't really like purple blue is my favorite color and i know blue and purple are cousins and purple used to be my favorite color but it ain't no more and i don't really rock anything purple i don't even think i own any purple clothes so she has three purple shades in there and i was like mm. but then i let the fact that there were more shades in there that i liked the more that I didn't. It's very rare to have a palette where you like all the shades. Um, I like the fact that it was Anastasia, and you know that's between Anastasia and ColourPop. Those are the two um, eyeshadow, those are the two brands whose eyeshadows I fuck with the hardest. And the fact that it was Jackie Ina, and I, I like her. So, I mean, I have La Bronze, La Peach. Are those only collabs she's done? I'm not sure. But, you know, I, I fucks with Anastasia hard. Um, and my favorite palette is the, um, yes. My favorite palette from them is the Soft Glam. Like, I think it's safe to say I do like every, this is one palette where, well, not every shade. Tempera is not really my jam, but hold on, let's go closer to the window. This is the soft glam palette and I pretty much like all the shades I don't use this one here tempera and I need to be wearing eyeshadow more period because I keep buying palettes and then I don't wear eyeshadow is one of those things it takes me too long to put on in the morning what you see right now foundation eyebrows highlight you probably can't see that because of the angle but foundation eyebrows highlight mascara maybe eyeliner that's pretty much all i have time for in the morning and then if i'm trying to stun on some hose i'll put on a lip but eyeshadow that takes so long so i need to do better okay i know i said i was done for the day but now i really am done for the day because it's almost time for me to eat it's almost eight o'clock and i'm just now eating please do better morning it's 804 time for me to go on Wednesday, August 7th. Um, I need to be leaving to go to work, but I just wanted to show y'all my foundation really quick because I'm over here like, okay. Um, low energy, hence my deep voice this morning. I just, whatever. Um, I'm wearing the Estee Lauder Double Wear for the first time. The little sample I showed you the other day. I chose the shade Bronze because I think that the rich caramel might be too dark. But if I do try this, I'm gonna try it on a day when I'm not leaving the house or just, or just, I don't know, if to give myself enough time to fix it if it is too dark. But as of right now, I think bronze might be my shade. I love how it just looks really good. I did the whole primer, powder, then foundation set it with powder again face spray situation but my skin looks so smooth and even and pretty and the color looks good and i could have put a little bit more on to hide my acne scars from a couple weeks ago but i really like it so far we'll see how it wears throughout the day 
but I'll more than likely end up purchasing this if I, if I, um, based off how I, you know, feel throughout the day, I think I'm going to end up buying this at some point, at some point, because I do need to calm down. All right, off to work I go. I'm taking the camera. I'm taking you guys with me just in case I'm feeling chatty at some point. And so I won't have to keep using my phone, but yeah. So maybe I'll see you later. Maybe I won't. It is a beautiful day out here. And I came on here for a reason that I can't remember right now. Oh, to show y'all my foundation. I haven't blotted or anything all day today. And I think we might be looking okay. I can't really see myself in the viewfinder. Whew. Hot. It is hot, ladies and gentlemen. Who am I kidding? Ladies. Um, sorry, I know you're crooked. Hold on. It's lunchtime. I kind of want a sandwich, but I don't, I need to research this area more where I work because I don't know where anything is. <laughs> so, um, okay, ma'am, crank the car up, satisfied. Um, yeah, I just need to figure out where stuff is. I want a sandwich. I have dinner at the house, but I don't have lunch. So, I've been craving sushi, but I actually don't want sushi at this moment. Oh my gosh, and I'm also very, very hungry. So, I'm gonna go get sushi like I just told y'all, but I don't want to sit in the restaurant by myself. I'm really weird like that. I like to be alone, but if I am alone, it's like, don't look at me, be alone. I don't know if that makes sense. So I would much rather sit in my car and eat as y'all have seen me do on more than one occasion than um, sit in a restaurant alone. I know, I'm weird. I've grown to I, this much I know about myself. So we're going to see how that's going to do. But trying to eat sushi in a car, oh, I don't know, man. That, that might look kind of janky. I may actually have to eat in the break room like a normal person. You know what's funny? is how I was like, I'm not going to have anything to talk about. And I mean, it's not like it's life-altering stuff, but I was like, oh, there's no point in me doing vloggers because I'm not going to have anything to talk about, nothing to do, nothing to show. And granted, again, I'm not showing you anything groundbreaking, but it's just funny how I said that. And I've been talking to y'all Bitch, it's only Wednesday. But I was gonna say, I've been talking to y'all every day. It's only Wednesday, calm down. I'm real simple, I'm real basic with my sushi. I like the California roll. I like the Philly roll, but I don't, I prefer the California roll. And I, there are other rolls that I like. I just don't know all their names. <laughs> those are the two that I make, you know, those are the safe, safe bets, if you will. Um. And there were two people in there who were eating alone, but yeah, that ain't, that ain't how we do stuff over here. So, oh, oh, it's falling apart. It's falling apart. Oh no. And see, imagine me trying to eat this in, in public. That's what he said. Okay, I think I'm going to regret what I just did. I just poured um, my soy sauce. I just poured it into the lid of this container. I think I'm gonna regret that. Hopefully I won't. I'm so bad with chopsticks. I just got home so I had to change my clothes just want to come over here and say hey really quick I'm on day two of the double wear I have not blotted all day yes I'm going to have to buy this I'm going to try to hold off for as long as I can but I'm gonna to have to buy this um, foundation I am wearing the minted cosmetics Ashley Blaine Featherson season one highlighter Okay, you can't tell what that is by me holding it like that. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Hold on. Be right back. <laughs> and here we are. 
this is what I'm wearing today for highlight. Hopefully it's doing it justice. I feel as though this lighting is making me look blue and stupid. It's not Smurfs. Natural light. La 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 that made it worse. Ah, okay. Hopefully they helped you guys a little bit. I put it on Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, you already know about this. So, yes, we're home. I had to change clothes. Oh, I came on here because I was going to talk to you guys on my way home from work, but I left you at home. Sorry, I got to I got to do better. I just wanted to come over here really quick to tell you guys that I got the apartment. I can't remember if I've said that in previous vlogs, but it's official. They sent me the paperwork today. I was like, this is what you'll need for, which I wasn't worried in terms of the financial part. I was just worried that they were going to take so damn long. Oh, thank God. You're not Jeffrey. You're that missing baby and boy. I was just worried that it was going to take so long that I was going to miss out again on the apartment that I wanted. Again, can't remember what I've told y'all in previous vlogs, but the initial apartment that I wanted got somebody else got it before I had a chance to apply for it so then I had to settle for a smaller unit um and I got approved for the smaller unit and everything's good to go so yay I think that's about it um yeah that's about it not much going on today guys I'm hungry I got a public sub gonna eat that and then chill out Ooh, random show recommendation slasher on Netflix if you like horror horror no if you like horror h-o-r-r-o-r -R -R, horror if you like that if you like a bit of mystery if if you're not into gore like people dying terrible deaths and you know things that you know are totally unrealistic in terms of like if somebody were to actually die that way they would have been dead like you're not gonna stay alive screaming because this is happening to you, you would have died a long time ago. That's If that's not your thing, you won't like it. But if that is your thing, I suggest you watch Slasher on Netflix. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm done with season one. I'm on season two now. Kind of sort of watching season three. It's a mess. It's a mess. But I, or The show's not a mess. I'm a mess. But I do like the show. So that's all for today. Um, I did kind of have a bit of a revelation last night. I think what I'm going to do, since I have kind of been vlogging every day since the 5th. What's the date today? I don't Where's my phone? Jesus. I think today is the... Today is the 8th. It's 8-8. It's just 8-8. Um, so yeah, I've been vlogging every day since the 5th. So what I'm going to do after I upload this week's Shemuriel's Shenanigans can't even get on my phone after I upload this week's shenanigans I think what I'm gonna do is then just kind of do vloggist days five through seven or something like that vloggist days blah blah and until it gets to the point where I'm caught up and then I'll be doing it daily I know I said something different before but I think that's what I'm gonna do for now it's 608 I don't know if I ever told you what time it was but yeah that's it we're home thank God and food awaits, family guy awaits, slasher awaits, and that's all. I hope y'all are having a good day.